Welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and today um, we will show you how to get Internet Explorer 10 for uh, Windows 7. Um, if you're not really in a hurry to get a new Internet Explorer version or if you just don't use Internet Explorer uh, of course you don't have to download it and eventually it will be included in one of the Windows updates in the coming weeks. But um, if you want to hurry up and have Internet Explorer 10 right now, all you have to do is go to download.microsoft.com and there in the download center, on the upper right you have a search, a little search box. Uh, just type Internet Explorer 10 for Windows 7 and the first thing you'll see is on the top here Internet Explorer 10 for Windows 7 in the downloads. Keep in mind that you need to have Service Pack 1 in Windows 7 if you want to be able to get Internet Explorer 10. It's very important. If you don't know if you have Service Pack 1, just go into your Start menu click your control panel and at the um, system and security tab just go into the view amount of RAM and processor speed under the system tab and there you will see right in the middle system type 32-bit operating system in my case but you might have a 64-bit operating system very important to know that if it asks the question there are two ways you can download Internet Explorer 10. There's the big package that you can download. This one requires you to know if you have um, a 64 or 32-bit version. Or here you have got this um, little download um, of 22 megabytes that is already on the uh, good version for me. The x86 is for the 32 bits. So you click and you type run. Make sure you've got the good version, 64 or 32 bit, if you are on 64 bit, it should say x64 instead of x86. And here you'll have that little window when you run the download, install Internet Explorer 10. So once you've clicked that, you'll see that window here that says um, the um, installing Internet Explorer 10. It starts by downloading the required updates from the Microsoft website sorry, and then it uh, downloads Internet Explorer itself before install installing it on your computer. Basically I've already installed it on my X64, uh, my 64 bits Windows 7 and um, it took overall about 15 minutes but that can change depending on your Internet Explorer speed. So it's important to uh, know that it can be much longer if your uh, internet connection is slow, for example. Um, and it can be also slower on some machines that are slower. This is a dual core machine. But it can also be faster depending on your setup. Um, the rest of the process is quite easy. It will simply install all of the updates, all of Internet Explorer, and then simply ask you to um, um, possibly restart your machine. On the 64-bit version, it did not ask me to restart my computer, I believe. Um, I'm not, I don't remember it, but there's a good chance that an update of uh, Internet Explorer will ask you to restart your machine anyway and uh, it's as easy as that there's really no questions to be asked afterwards uh, everything is installed and once your computer has restarted after this download you will have Internet Explorer 10 installed on your computer now don't be afraid um, of Internet Explorer 10 if you're wondering yeah well I had a shock when I went from uh, Explorer 8 to Explorer 9 and a lot of people did because they really changed the UI, the overall look of Internet Explorer and um, 
a lot of people got lost you know they were losing their toolbars and um, they just didn't know where to get their favorites and uh, you know people were a lot of people were lost people that are, aren't really tech savvy uh, easily get lost when things are changed so uh, of course that's one of the major things about um, upgrading a, a software will it change my way of doing things and what's nice in Internet Explorer 10 is that if you are already in Explorer 9 it's pretty cool because there just won't be much changes Internet Explorer 10 keeps all of your toolbars and all of your settings uh, as they are in Internet Explorer 9 so you don't have to really um, get uh, scared of up of really you know upgrading um, it's true that Internet Explorer is a big chunk of software for Windows and like m any updates things can go wrong uh, I've seen a few stories you know see a few horror stories about your um, the computer having problems with Internet Explorer or not booting after this uh, Explorer 10 but overall what I've seen is that everything goes pretty much uh, pretty smoothly I've upgraded myself five machines to Explorer 10 and all I can say is that I've not had any problems with any of the machines that I upgraded and if you're not sure if you should or should not go to Explorer 10 and you see it says restart now so you restart your computer so if you're not really sure if you want to upgrade um, look at one of my videos that I put online I tested the latest versions of Firefox Chrome uh, against Internet Explorer 10 and for the speed of the web pages I can tell you that Internet Explorer 10 is really the fastest browser that you can have on your PC right now so this is new it's available been available for maybe a week or two now for Windows 7 which is pretty nice and it's as easy as that as soon as you find the good version on the Microsoft website all you have to do is click the run everything goes smoothly no questions asked really it just install and once your computer is rebooted well you've got your new Internet Explorer 10 installed on your machine as for more information on Windows 7 and Explorer 10 for Windows 7 well look at my videos lots of videos online and I'll be putting a few videos of Internet Explorer 10 and talking about its features and options and um, if you uh, enjoy these videos click the subscribe button at the top of the screen you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments or questions let us know um, and hope you come back to the official Windows 7 channel bye bye